We're finally getting to grind a melee weapon on this account, but it might be one of the more forgettable ones because in our last video, our top comment was from Mimixel. Mixel? I'm probably saying that wrong, but they said they want us to get the hammer and sickle done while using Frenzy Guard. So that's what we're doing today. And technically, they didn't say use Frenzy Guard. They just said Frenzy Guard and hammer and sickle. So I'm going to take, you know, the creative liberty and say they wanted me to upgrade Frenzy Guard. So let me get this to tier five real quick. There we go. And just to refresh my memory, since I haven't done a melee weapon in a while, let's check out the camos. So 750 kills. That's not too bad. We need 50 kills while they're distracted or stunned by a stun, monkey bomb, or decoy. We need 750 kills while it's packed. 15 kills while using Ring of Fire, Frost Blast, or Aether Shroud. So we might have to use Aether Shroud to start here and then switch to Frenzy Guard. That's not too big of a deal. 10 special or elites shouldn't be too bad. 10 kills rapidly in the hardest camo for this is our Jackrabbits. 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit 10 times. But before we hop into it, if you want to leave any weapon upgrade or challenge suggestions, go ahead and leave it in a comment down below. I'll have a comment there as well with everything that we've already completed. So make sure you check that out first. That way we don't get any repeats. And they didn't say anything about what map to play on. So I just picked Forsaken. Because this is really like the one map that doesn't have like a set grinding spot. And we're using a melee weapon anyway. So we can just kind of train around here and spawn i feel like it'll be the most fun but actually i want to go ahead and take back what i said about the the hammer and sickle being the most forgettable weapon or melee weapon i think it might be the cane but while i was looking through the melees it seems like well at least we, we know this for sure that a lot of them were like copy and paste uh, in terms of like stats and how they work and you know they just kind of like switched out the model to add another weapon which i'm not complaining about i i'd i'd much rather have more things to do than less even if it's copy and paste of the same thing with just like a little different shell on it but this has the same exact stats as the battle axe but i think the battle axe looks a lot cooler to swing this still isn't like terrible though it, it doesn't have like the fastest swing speed in the world but at least it's one shot kills like as long as you're upgrading it through rounds which you really can't say about this map's wonder weapon the, the crystal axe i i think at like round 38 stops one shotting which really sucks that might be one of the coolest designs for wonder weapon that we've seen and we have our aether shroud now um i think i want to try to double dip on this any of these zombies drop any decoys or stuns or anything like that how much scrap do i have 300 let me get a few more kills here to see if i can get some more green scrap and then i want to craft a decoy and try to get my aether shroud and decoy kills all at once but we are definitely not uh getting our jackrabbits done that's for sure i'm taking a beating over here a 500 scraps got to be enough right let's go find out oh yeah that's enough let's get all the zombies in one area so that way we can get as many distracted zombies as possible and we just need 15 kills this might take two decoys but i want to get this camo done before we head out into the the rest of the map i right, get on that pop in this come on that's three eh we can do better than that. Y'all are just gonna have to give me some more scrap. But actually, I'm pretty excited to use Frenzy Guard today. Like, once we get done with our Aether Shroud kills. Frenzy Guard's one of those field upgrades that's good. But I feel like there's a better option for, like... It's nice to get your armor back and everything. And all the zombies move slower at you. Which is actually really good for melee weapons. And it basically makes you, like, invincible. But I feel like Tesla Storm does a little bit of better job. Because you get points for it as well. Like, the second any zombie touches you, you're getting, like, points. Oh, there's a decoy. They just dropped one for me. Let's go. But it's still a feel grade that I think is pretty good. I just haven't used a whole lot. So, I'm excited to try it out again. Let's quick decoy down. Hit our Aether Shroud. Probably should have hit the Aether Shroud first. Dang. Our Aether Shroud really does not last for very long. We still need a few more kills. Oh, and we went down. Great. Perfect. Beautiful, actually. I, I actually wanted to use my self-revive on round nine it's pretty efficient if you think about it we gotta have enough for another decoy though right nope why are they 500 decoys are expensive oh here we go we have enough now and i crafted a stim because i got scared because there's a zombie right behind me i'm surprised no zombies dropped armor for me yet i feel like they only drop it when after i've already bought it or if i'm just not thinking about it now i'm thinking about it and i know for sure i'm not gonna get it but even though we do have like 1800 melee weapons in this game I wish the kills challenge for it was a little bit higher, honestly. 750 kills is not a whole lot. Like, we already have 173, and we've been in this game for, like, five minutes. Like, the zombie's melee grind is just very short, and they're one of the more satisfying weapons to use, so I just wish it was, uh... I, I got a little more time with them. Let's throw our decoy, hit our Aether Shroud. Come on. Was that enough? Nope, we still need three more. Oh, and we're down. 
Nice. I forget that I don't have my melees upgraded to give me health every time I do damage to zombies. That would have been helpful right there. But let's just pretend that didn't happen. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. First game. Oh, I'm so excited to do the hammer and sickle. Well, that's the beauty of the melee weapon is even if you die like an idiot on round 10, it, you don't have to do a whole lot of like getting prepared. You just swing weapon. Kill zombie. That's it. But it's times like these where I wish that they had the full power power up and round based. Because whenever I'm using a melee weapon, I get nothing but max ammos. A full power would actually help me out. Getting a, a free field upgrade would be nice. But they only have that in like Outbreak and Onslaught. Actually, I think I could get a full power from doing like the side Easter eggs on this map, like doing some of the arcade machines or even like the Bubby Easter egg. But that's a lot of work just to get a field upgrade. Decoy, Aether, kill. There we go. We literally just needed one more. All right, let me switch to our Frenzied Guard now, and we can see what this is all about. But I think Frenzied Guard is going to help us out a lot with trying to get our Jackrabbit kills. So we have literally zero Jackrabbit medals at all. There hasn't really been like more than three kills that I've gotten without getting hit. But with Frenzied and how slow they're going to move, we'll get them all done. And I'll stay here until about... um. I have enough money to get through the whole map and then enough to pack a punch as well. Like, this is ridiculous. I swing, jump back. Swing, jump back. Okay, I walked into that swing a little bit. Let me try to get one Jackrabbit medal before we move on here. I'm going to go for the zombies that are a little uh, slow. I want some zombies that aren't sprinting at me to swing at. Because if we're struggling with these on this low of a round, it's not going to get any easier for us. We got a stun? Easy. We can get a, a few camos this way as well. Oh, my Atlanta. Still got hit. We have enough scrap to just get armor. I'm, I'm just going to pay for it. We need it. And we can upgrade our weapon to green. Oh, we got a frenzied guard. Okay. Um, let's stun them. Hit myself. So there goes our, our jackrabbit that we're working on. But now we can just bop them with frenzied guard. Now, like for the social distancing challenge and everything, where you would have taken damage in like perks saving you, it still counts as you taking damage. Is that the same thing with jackrabbit kills? Because these zombies can still swing at me all they want while I have frenzy guard. They just won't do any damage to me. But it's 20 kills without getting hit. And they're definitely hitting me. So I don't know what it defines as a hit and what it doesn't. But I think we got enough points. I'm going to go uh, start up this teleporter so we can get out of here and get pack a punch. Let's throw one more decoy before we pop out of here. Oh my god, it bounced off a zombie's foot and disappeared. I saw it bounce. Decoys are really nice, but they, they can be pretty buggy. I don't even think that's a bug. That's actually probably a feature with them. They definitely intended for that. But what a waste. 500 salvage down the drain. We can hit them with a quick stun. At least most of them. All right, well, let's get out of here before we die. And I am going to pick up Jug because we are taking way too many hits. And you know what? Maybe I should grab stamina up while we're here. Can I buy it through the window? No, I can't open the place up through the window. I got to use the door like a person. Give me the loose change and give me stamina up. Let's grab all of our parts. Uh, where is it? There's one. Where's our TV? Give me that. Where's the flashlight? Got it. And we need the fryer. Got it. And craft the teleporter. Please don't hit me. I'm on a jackrabbit currently. And let's do this. Can't hit me now, can you? Dumb fucks. You gotta be close to a jackrabbit at least. Let's head on through here. Ooh, we can get these guys as they're spawning. We're, we gotta be so close to a jackrabbit. We're probably at like 17 kills. Fuck! I got pulled into those guys. How the hell am I supposed to do this? All right, let's just spawn in this abomination. Come on out, buddy. I'm hitting you right away. Bastard. Bloody bitch bastard. Fuck you. There's like zero chance of me getting a jackrabbit with this bastard around. Oh, keep screaming. Damn. Damn. Damn, stop hitting me. Oh, it's yelling again. There we go. Right in the fucking mouth. Open up. There you go. Bitch. All right, let's grab Pack-A-Punch. First, we gotta lift the lock down. And now we grab Pack-A-Punch. Pack two, actually. Pop the Frenzied. I think that Plague Hound just messed up my Jackrabbit. I fucking hate Plague Hounds. But I think we started a little bit of one after we killed the Plague Hound. So I'm throwing a decoy. We can double dip on these camos. There's 30 melees while they're distracted. But I keep getting hit, I think, when I'm pretty close to a jackrabbit. See, this is the part I don't like about melees. Everything else is just piss easy. This is like the actual challenge, and I can never seem to do it correctly. I think I need to wait for them to swing. I need them to swing first. So that way they're in like their animation cooldown. Then I can go in and get them. So I keep like trying to swing and back up, but they're already swinging at me as I'm swinging at them. We just need to adapt. 
There we go. I say that like we made any progress. We didn't, but I waited for them to swing before hitting them. So maybe I'm progressing mentally as a gamer, but camo progress has not moved. Oh my, that time. That zombie's just kind of an asshole coming out swinging like that. Oh, don't go down. No going down. Jump. Why would I just want to climb onto this thing here and not all the way on game? Riddle me that. Well, at least this time around, we're using our self-arrive at round 14 and not round nine. So we're improving, if you can call it that. I have a feeling we're going to get literally everything done before we get one jackrabbit camo. I feel like since I'm focusing on it so hard, I'm literally, I can't get any of it. This is what the camo curse is. It's like a mental roadblock. I feel like I'm just going to run and hit a zombie if it's in front of me and hopefully it doesn't swing. Because me turning around and swinging at him is not helping. Now, you know what would be better for getting these jackrabbits? Tesla Storm, because they can't even swing at you in Tesla Storm. They're just all stunned. And I'm just going to not upgrade my armor or my weapon until I get all these, like, decoy kills done. Or all my my jackrabbit kills. Because I shouldn't be getting hit anyway, so I don't get hit. I don't need armor. Okay. Well, about that plan. Oh, we had 420 kills. I did that on purpose, just for weed. Did I get any jackrabbit kills? Oh, we did it one time out of our two games. Shit, dude. Third time's the charm, they say. And I'm going to be trying Tesla Storm to see if I can get these jackrabbits done at least a little bit faster. And getting literally any is faster than what we're doing right now. And maybe if I don't fuck around here on these, like, you know, first few rounds where the zombies literally just waddle at you might be able to get another one done without having to use any sort of field upgrade or decoy or anything. Just me, myself, and I. Oh, there we go. Our first jackrabbit camo. Holy shit. It's actually optimal to just stop playing or, or lose the game and retry. Oh my. Okay, never mind. I take back everything. Oh, there's another jackrabbit. Holy shit. Look at me go. And now we got a Tesla storm. So let's get another. Look at this. No zombie can touch me. Oh, we got another one. All I needed, needed was a, a change of mindset. Oh, and they gave me a decoy. Appreciate that, zombies. Get on, get on it. And we're all done with our distracted kills, so we don't have to worry about spending any more of our scrap on those. But I'm still going to use these decoys because they help me with the jackrabbits. And I think I got enough money to go all the way to power. I want to go through that portal, but I feel like I'm in a groove right now with these jackrabbits. Like, I'm, I, I got it figured out. Okay, never mind. I got fucking hit. I'm out of here. We need to start working on our pack of punch camos. Because we are like uh, less than 100 kills away from getting our final camo for just normal eliminations, I think. Now let's just go ahead and repair the portal again and grab all the fucking parts for it. Now let's put it all back together. Head on through. Oh, there's our rotten camo. See, I knew we were close. What's wrong, idiot? Can't get around a pole? Oh my god. Just open your mouth. Die! Why are you not dead? I'm hitting you right in the mouth. There you go. Lockdown's relifted. Back a punch is bought again. And we'll try out Deadwire. It might take a few kills from us, but I think if we get like a little bit of a Deadwire chain going, them standing there, I'm pretty sure you can go up and melee them to kill them. Like after they get Deadwired, shooting them doesn't really do anything, but I've, I've seen while trying to like high round that you can just go up and melee them. So maybe that's better. Yeah, I don't know how much I like Deadwire. I'm switching this out for Shatter Blast. So I've always gone back and forth whether or not I thought Shatter Blast actually helped you get Jackrabbit kills. Maybe it does. But I don't know if like the very last kill would help and count for this weapon. But I'm I'm down for just about anything right now. These Jackrabbits are beating my ass. Maybe training is not helping. Because there's that spot in the donut shop where the zombies have to climb up to get to you. Maybe if I stand there. I I'm just desperate to try anything right now. So let's see if this works. Do they climb and I get them while they're climbing? Eh, it's kind of working. Oh, I'm a genius. I'm actually like the smartest person to ever play this game, I think. Motherfucker. Every time I speak, I get hit. I'm going to sit here silently until I get it done. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. This is not working like I thought it would. It worked pretty well at the start. But once a zombie climbs up, it's over. I don't know why it's taking me this long to think of it. But if I just nade a bunch of zombies, as long as it's less than 20 and I just get like my 20th kill with the hammer and sickle, I'll get a jackrabbit medal. So after I use this last Tesla storm, I'll switch back to frenzied because I, I got a new strat now. Watch, nade. That's a few of them. We get all the way up to a massacre medal. And just as long as we don't get hit for these first few zombies, we should be good. There, decoy. There's a jackrabbit. Actually, you know what? I'm going back to the genius method, but with the frenzied guard. Maybe frenzied guard make it a little easier. We just got to combine all of our mouse tools. So we'll get the zombies coming on over here. We'll stand on this. Pop it. 
Maybe I should have waited a second till they're closer. You guys get the picture. Ah, shit. We're going down. I can't even move from the spot. They got me pinned against the wall. Now come over here and let me kill you. I don't want to have to use the self-revive. Fuck it. Whatever. We got enough to get another one. I'm starting to get mad, though. So I'm always under the impression that these melee kills are going to be easy. Like, melee weapons are going to be easy. I am sorely mistaken. Oh, there's our glitch camo. We just need to not get hit. After 20 kills, two more times. Now check this out. I'm only getting smarter as the days go by. This spot right here works the same, but it gives me a little more like runway before I get hit. I just got to hop down, hop back up. They'll climb back up and I jump right back down. And then I miss my jump and I get hit and I ruin all the progress I just did. At least we unlocked the sledgehammer. Oh, we're all done with our pack-a-punch kills. Be real nice if we could get it uh, just two more jackrabbits and we'd be done with everything. Oh, I'm fucking dead. This is ass, dude. This is probably the longest it's ever taken me to get a melee weapon done. Like, ever. I'm almost positive I'm, like, just one jackrabbit medal away. I wonder how many times I've said jackrabbit this video. But it's literally, like, the only issue with these melees. Like, we got all of our elites done. We got all of our kills rapidly. We literally just need to get 20 kills without getting hit one more time. And it's almost impossible for me. Oh, that's a jackrabbit medal? Did we get it? Nope. What the fuck? Okay, so then we need one more. And now the abomination's here to ruin it. Actually, you know what? Fucking kill me. That wasn't how I was expecting to die there. I did say kill me, but I was waiting for the abomination to do it. That zombie actually just sideswiped me. I really want to see how many jackrabbits we have left. Maybe they, I had to work on something else that whole time and had them done. Because this is ridiculous. Let's take a peek, shall we? Literally just need one more. And then we have everything else done. All right, from the top. And maybe since it's early around here... The zombies can just climb onto this. I know some zombies just fully box jump their way up here. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I won't even risk it since I know they can box jump it. I'm just going to go on our truck. I'll kill the first few zombies here, though, while it's still, like, really easy. We're at, like, three kills without getting hit. 17 more, and we can just be done. All right, let's climb this. They'll come to me. They just climb super slow in these early rounds. Nothing to be worried about. Just need to make sure I'm watching all my angles. And then we jump down when we need to. Because it gets, it gets a little crowded. Five more kills. Oh, and we have a decoy too. This should be easy. Get on the decoy. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. Oh, thank God, dude. Let's fucking go. I'm leaving this game immediately. Oh, wait. Conviction camo. Now I'm leaving. I should wait for all the, the unlocks to actually stop. Are we good? All right, now I'm leaving. <sighs> that is the most stressful a melee weapon has ever been for me, ever. But it's done. Let's make sure that we have Golden Viper on this, because I don't want to do this ever again. Oh, thank you. Oh, and we actually got Plague Diamond. That's our first Plague Diamond. Man, they made us work for that one. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and hop in game and see what it looks like there. And this is what our hammer and sickle look like with Plague Diamond, our very first Plague Diamond on this account. Uh, honestly, not too bad. Uh, looking... But I never want to see this weapon again in my life. This is like the ZRG of melees, honestly. I'm sick of it. This shit sucks. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. Make sure you leave all your suggestions down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.